Tree shrews. Tree shrews are small mammals that are native to the tropical forests of Southeast Asia. There are 20 species of tree shrews. Tree shrews have a higher brain to body mass ratio than any other mammal. Although they are called tree shrews, they are not actually true shrews. Tree shrews are closely related to primates. Madras tree shrew. The Madras tree shrew, which is also known as the Indian tree shrew, is found in the hill forests of central and southern India. The species is named after Sir Walter Elliot of the Indian Civil Services of Madras. The tree shrew is 16 to 18.5 centimetres in length, with its tail being 16.5 to 19.5 centimetres. They are a reddish brown in colour, with their hind feet and legs being a pale yellow in colour. Not much is known about their reproductive behaviour. It is believed that they can produce up to five young at a time. The Madras tree shrew is omnivorous, eating insects such as caterpillars, flying ants and butterflies, as well as earthworms and fruit. They will spend most of their morning and evening hours foraging for food and will forage independently. The tree shrew will climb trees rapidly when threatened. This is likely an adaption to escape predators. The Madras tree shrew has a conservation status of least concern. Bornean smooth-tailed tree shrew. The Bornean smooth-tailed tree shrew is only found in Malaysia. Its natural habitat is subtropical or tropical dry forest and the species is threatened by habitat loss. Their combined head and body length is 5 inches and its tail is 4.5 inches. They have an overall body mass of about 43 grams. The upper parts are dark brown with underparts being orange yellow and have shiny black sides which possess a reddish streak. They have large ear flaps and will have a short snout. They have an orange ring around their eyes. They will have a thin tail which is covered in fine smooth hair which darkens towards the tip. Nothing is known about the mating system, but generally true tree shrew species are solitary or a pair living together. Nothing is known about the reproductive system. Generally tree shrews tend to have one to three young, with a gestation period ranging from 43 to 56 days. They are believed to reach a size at approximately three months and reach sexual maturity at four months of age. Not much is known about the diet of the Bornean smooth-tailed tree shrew. They are thought to be generally omnivorous. They have been observed in both the wild and captivity eating a range of arthropods, fruit and small vertebrates. It is not known what hunts the Bornean smooth-tailed tree shrew, but other tree shrews are preyed on by a variety of mammalian, reptilian and avian predators. The species is listed as data deficient because it was not recorded in the early 1970s and was listed as vulnerable from 1996 to 2008. 
The major threat of this species is the habitat loss. Northern Smooth-Tail Tree Shrew The Northern Smooth-Tail Tree Shrew is found in Cambodia, Thailand and Vietnam. They are found in tropical forests with elevations up to 1500 metres above sea level. The Northern Smooth-Tail Tree Shrew is the smallest of the tree shrew family group with a head to body length being 11.5 cm with a tail length of 4 to 5 cm and weighing approximately 35 to 55 grams. They are light in colour and have facial markings which are used to distinguish them from other smooth tail shrews which lack these distinguished facial markings. Their upper body is brown slash blackish in colour with this underside being lighter and have short hair. The tail is dark and will become gradually darker until it reaches the tip. This species of tree shrew typically breeds when the fruiting of local trees and shrubs is at its best. They will begin to wean at about 30 days and will usually give birth to twins. They typically weigh 6 to 10 grams and will be hairless, blind and totally dependent on their mother. Approximately a pair of tree shrews mate and produce young every 45 days. They tend to reach sexual maturity at about two months. Once they reach sexual maturity, they will be pushed out of their home and will live solitarily until they find a mate. Their diet consists mainly of fruits, arthropods and small vertebrates. The northern smooth-tailed tree shrews eat all day long to maintain their energy. This is because they have a very simple digestive tract which allows them to pass food very fast. They have a conservation status of least concern and are thought to be abundant. The Northern Tree Shrew The Northern Tree Shrew is native to Southeast Asia. The Northern Tree Shrew inhabits forest areas living in tropical and subtropical habitats, which are usually moist environments. They have also been seen in shrublands and artificial plantations and rural gardens. The Northern Tree Shrew is a greyish olive colour. The northern tree shrew resembles a squirrel and have a long bushy tail and have an elongated snout. The northern tree shrew have a monogamous mating system. The hardest part of the mating system for the northern tree shrew is possibly the finding of the mate. Copulation can occur within a few hours if the female will accept the male, however they will usually use more aggressive behaviour. Male or female northern tree shrews will defend their territory against any intruders if the couple... They have a gestation period of about 41 to 45 days and have between 1 to 5 offspring. Their lifespan in the wild is unknown, but they live between 9 and 12 years in captivity. The northern tree shrew is mostly insectivorous, but will sometimes eat fruits to obtain extra nutrients and calories to their diet. The northern tree shrew is unable to go more than one day without water. They do not absorb much water from their food.
It is thought that this tree shrew is defensive of its territory. They will bare their teeth and make a high-pitched sound to try to scare off potential predators or threats. It's not known what their specific predators are. However, it is thought that they would be threatened by large birds of prey, snakes and some carnivorous mammals. The northern tree shrew has a conservation status of least concern and they have a stable population and are common throughout their range. Golden Belly Tree Shrew There is not much information known about this species of tree shrew. The Golden Belly Tree Shrew is also called the Mentawar Tree Shrew as it's only found at the Indonesian Mentawar Islands of Sapporo, North and South Pega. It likes to live in forests and this species is considered endangered due to habitat loss since the island is continuously logged. Striped tree shrew. The striped tree shrew is found in Borneo and found in both Indonesia and Malaysia. Striped tree shrews have a long tail and have a slender body. They have great hearing, smell, and vision. This species of tree shrew is mainly insectivorous but will also eat fruits. They have a gestation period of about 50 days and will have a litter of 3 to 4 young. The young are born hairless and blind. They are able to leave the nest at the age of 1 month. They will reach sexual maturity at 4 months of age and will usually breed throughout the year and do not have a specific breeding season. The striped tree shrew has no conservation status because the data is deficient. Common tree shrew. The common tree shrew is found in Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia. The common tree shrew is one of the largest tree shrews. The average body length is 16 to 21 centimetres and they weigh on average 190 grams. They are reddish brown in colour and have a greyish or black upper part with a whitish belly with a long bushy tail which is dark greyish brown and is almost the length of its entire body. Their paws have sharp claws. Both sexes are similar in length and weight. Their body to head length is about 13 to 21 centimetres and they have a tail length of 12 to 20 centimetres. They will often have a white patch on each of their shoulders. The common tree shoe has a dense coat and will vary in colour, typically being olive brown or grey in colour. They have a pale underside and have paws that are have the sharp claws which they use to climb trees. They have small ears and rather small eyes which are located on the sides of their head. They have a long snout which bears a patch of skin above the nose. The common tree shrew is active during the day and we usually forage alone or sometimes in pairs. They are most often forage on the ground among shrubs and tree holes. They feed on fruit, leaves, seeds and insects, especially ants and spiders, and have even been seen catching lizards. The common tree shrew is usually monogamous. The relationship between female and males is usually permanent, as revealed by scent marking from pairs and them sharing territory. However, not all common tree shrews are monogamous. Some have been seen having a poly polygnous mating system. The common tree shrew mates all year round, but mating peaks between February and June. Female common tree shrews have a gestation period of 40 to 52 days and can produce up to three young. 
The young will weigh between 10 and 12 grams at birth and their eyes and, and ears do not open until after between 10 and 20 days of birth. The young develop quite slowly, while still in the nest and drinking the mother's milk 36 days after birth. Their young develop quite slowly, while still in the nest and drinking their mother's milk. 36 days after birth, they are able to leave the nest and are weaned. They begin to develop more quickly after leaving the nest. Both genders of the common tree shoe become sexually mature at the age of three months. Common tree shoes only have a short lifespan, living between the age of two and three years. However, they have been known to live up to the age of 12 in captivity. The common tree shoe is preyed upon by snakes, birds of prey and small carnivals. The common tree shoe is listed as least concern, which is probably due to its rapid breeding and fast colonisation. Slender tree shoe. Like many species of tree shoe, not much information is known about the slender tree shoe. The slender tree shoe is native to Indonesia and Malaysia. The slender tree shoe has a slender build. Like many tree shoe, it possesses a long tail. They have well developed hearing, smell and vision. Slender tree shoes are omnivores, feeding on a variety of insects, small vertebrates, fruits and seeds. The slender tree shoe has a gestation period of approximately 50 days, after which they have a litter of 3 to 4 young. Their young are born blind and hairless. They are able to leave the nest at 1 month old. The slender tree shoe reaches sexual maturity at 4 months old. They have no specific breeding season and will breed all year round. They have a conservation status of least concern. Horsefield's tree shrew. Not much is known about this species of tree shrew. Horsefield's tree shrew is native to Indonesia. The Horsefield's tree shoe has developed senses of hearing, smell and vision. They have a slender build and possess a long tail. The Horsefield tree shoe is an omnivore but mainly feeds on insects. It will also eat small vertebrates, fruit and seeds. Breeding in the Horsefield tree shoe is very similar to the slender tree shoe's breeding habits. They have no specific breeding season and will breed all year round. They have a gestation period of 50 days and will give birth to 3 to 4 young. The Horsefield tree shrew is also known as the Javan tree shrew. They have a conservation status of least concern. Long footed tree shrew. There is very little information known about this species. They are thought to be very similar to, the species, to many species of tree shrew. They are found in Brunei, Indonesia and Malaysia. Their conservation status is least concerned, but they are thought to be threatened by habitat loss. Pygmy tree shrew. The pygmy tree shrew is native to Indonesia, Malaysia and Thailand. They are found in tropical forests below 1000 metre elevations. Pygmy tree shoes look like squirrels, but can be distinguished by their long pointed snouts and lack of long black whiskers. They have golden brown fur on their back and limbs. Their underparts vary in colour from white to light cream. They have sharp claws on their hands and feet. which are, These claws are used for climbing. Pygmy tree shoes have a mass of 60 grams. There is little information known about the mating habits of the species. 
The pygmy tree shrew has a litter of one to three young. Females will reach sexual maturity when they weigh 46 grams, whereas males weigh approximately 16.3 grams when they reach sexual maturity. Weaning will occur at about 30 days of age. Once they reach sexual maturity, they are kicked out of the parental territory. There is no information on the average lifespan of the pygmy tree shrew, but it has an average lifespan 9 to 10 years in captivity. The pygmy tree shrew is omnivorous, its diet consisting mainly of a wide variety of invertebrates, but it also eats fruits. It is not really known what hunts the pygmy tree shrew, but it is thought that they are hunted by snakes, large mammals and raptors. The pygmy tree shoe has a conservation status of least concern and it is thought to be threatened by logging, cultivation and humid, human habitation. Calamian tree shrew. Little is known on this species of tree shrew. They are found in the islands of Pasanga and Kalian. The Calamian tree shrew diets on a wide variety of insects, small vertebrates, fruits and seeds. They have a gestation period of approximately 50 days, having a litter of 3 to 4 young. Mountain tree shrew The mountain tree shrew is native to Borneo and inhabits montane forests in Sarawak and Sabah. The mountain tree shrew has been recorded mostly at elevations above 2,000 feet. They have been observed being active during the day and forage among fallen logs and branches, feeding mostly on arthropods, occasionally eating wild fruits and berries. It is believed from studies in captivity that they have a gestation period of 49 to 51 days and have no distinct breeding season. Litter is usually one to two young. Mountain tree shoes have dark reddish brown grizzled fur with an indistinct black line along its back. It has a short tail which is grizzle reddish brown colour but below the tail is an ovalicious yellow with a black tip. The body and head length is 15 to 33 centimetres and its tail is 13 to 19 centimetres in length. They have a conservation status of least concern. Nicobar tree shrew. Not much information is known about the Nicobar tree shrew. It is found on the Nicobar Islands where it inhabits the island's rainforest. It is classified as endangered because it is threatened by habitat loss. The species of tree shrew was first described by Johann Zellabar in 1868. Palawan tree shrew they occur in jungles which are rich with fresh water and rivers. There are no threats to the species that are known. They are found on the Palawan Island and are found at 1,400 metres above sea level. They have a conservation status of least concern and the population for the species is steady. Painted Tree Shrew it is found in Borneo and inhabits Kalimantan and Sarawak. Their diet consists of mainly insects and fruits. The first specimen was described by Oldfield Thomas. Not much information is available for this species. Ruddy Tree Shrew not much information is known about this species. The ruddy tree shrew is native to Borneo, the Natuna Islands and the, and the Anambas Islands. They feed on insects, small vertebrates, fruits and seeds. They have a conservation status of least concern.
large tree shrew. The large tree shrew is found on the islands of Borneo, including the countries Brunei, Jerusalem, Indonesia and Malaysia. They spend a lot of the time in the trees of the tropical rainforests, swamp forests and secondary growth forests, but they spend the most part of their lives on the forest floor, which is where they spend most of their time foraging. They have been found at elevations 1,000 metres above sea level, but they mostly occur in lowland forest areas. The average weight of a large tree shrew is 198 grams. They have an elongated snout, which is longer than any other species of tree shrew. They have large eyes, which have no eyelashes, and their ears are hairless. Their fur is dark brown on their dorsal side and reddish orange on its ventral side. Large tree shoes have yellow strips present on each shoulder and a distinct black strip down the midline of the back. They possess a bushy tail. The colour of this tail varies from orange, red and yellow depending on location. They have elongated claws which are used for climbing and digging. Both males and females are similar in size and appearance. The large tree shrew forms monogamous pairs. Males will initiate mating behaviour and usually mate with a female that shares the most territory with him. Females are able to produce at the age of one, but have usually established a territory before this. The breeding season peaks at August and November. The female usually gives birth to two young. Their young will be weaned at the age of 25 to 33 days. The large tree shrew has an average lifespan of 10 to 14 years in the wild. Large tree shrews will feed on a variety of things. This includes beetles, ants, spiders, cockroaches, crickets and other invertebrates. They typically prefer earthworms, centipedes, millipedes and beetle larvae. They, use, they typically forage on the ground where it will dig through the soil to find its prey. They will also diet some fruit and this will consist of about 30% of their diet. The large tree shrew has many potential predators, which include cats such as marble cats, leopard cats and clouded leopards which typically hunt adult tree shrew. Leslings and young large tree shrews are most vulnerable where birds of prey are their biggest threat. Reptiles, civets and mongooses will also hunt on young tree shrews. The large tree shrew is not thought to be threatened and supposed to have a stable population and have been given a conservation status of least concern. Mindanao tree shrew. The Mindanao tree shrew is also called, called the Philippine tree shrew and is found on Mindanao in the Philippines. The Mindanao tree shrew is usually found inhabiting bush zones in dense vegetation, typically along riverbeds. This tree shrew is even haired with a round tail and an elongated snout. They have sharp claws on their forefeet. The upper parts of the animal are brownish in colour. Most have an orange strip on their shoulder. The underparts vary in colour from orange to orangish, orangish red, but this is usually the brightest part. When the Mindanao tree shrew is born, it is naked. Newly born weigh approximately 20 grams. After 13 to 25 days, they are able to open their eyes. They have a gestation period that lasts 54 to 50 day, 56 days, but they have a litter of one or two young. Females are usually receptive soon after birth. There was no information about the lifespan of the Mindanao tree shoe. However, one captive Philippine tree shoe lived to 11 and a half years. This species is omnivorous and eats a variety of foods, ranging from small animals to insects to fruits and vegetables. It has been observed opening and eating eggs. It has a conservation status of least concern and is threatened by habitat destruction by humans. Pen tail tree shrew. It is found in Thailand, Malaysia, Sumatra, northern Borneo and nearby small islands. 
They have been found in primary and secondary forests, rubber farms and in houses near forage edges. The animal's back is grey to light brown, with a white to yellowish belly. Their pen tail is mostly black, fading to white, making the pen tail true shrew recognisable and distinct. Individuals have a black eye mask frequently. Not much is known about their mating habits, but it is thought that they would have a litter of between one and four because they have two pairs of nipples. Typically its gestation period is 45 to 55 days and babies weigh around 10 grams. Nothing is known about the lifespan of the pentail tree shrew. Like most tree shrews they are omnivorous. They have been observed eating bananas, grapes, crickets and grasshoppers. The pentail tree shrew has a conservation status of least concern, but is threatened by slash and burn clearing of tropical fo forests for cultivation and human use, as well as logging and habitat loss threatening this species.